I would like to introduce Jacob Applebaum, the speaker of WikiLeaks. He's an independent security specialist. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I guess I'd like to start off by saying that um, the best indicator for telling the future is to look at the present and to understand how the past informs on the present. So for example, um, a major security threat is internet filtering and censorship. And several people on this panel uh, represent companies that during the revolution, they censored the internet quite heavily, most um, respectfully TE data blocking Twitter. I was actually accessing computer networks from the United States that were located here in Egypt. And um, now you look at the pamphlets around here, you see that the companies at ICT, and I mean this with all due respect, are saying that they powered the revolution. What they actually powered was the regime. And now that the regime has fallen, they want to exploit the revolution for corporate profits. Well, Jacob, you... Jacob, can you define censorship in your terminology? Absolutely. So censorship in this case is restricting access to a particular website. I had a list of all of the servers that Twitter runs, and all but two of them were blocked by TE data. And this meant that Twitter was not able to be used. Yeah. Uh, but specifically, I have data. It's extremely dangerous to talk with inaccurate information in such matters. Well, I have accurate uh, data. Uh, so, I mean, we could also talk about the propaganda SMS sent by the, by the mobile phone providers. We can get to that later. I have data, okay. independent now data from right. Egyptians and that I gathered myself. So, while it might be dangerous to have this conversation, I'm happy to talk about it because it's truthful. For example, did someone hold a gun to the heads of your engineers and said, block these sites? Because NOR did not do this blocking. The NOR ISP did not do this. So why did TE Data collaborate with the Mubarak regime and block these sites and try to stop the revolution? Okay. Jacob, exactly. you want to build a future? Will you agree to stand against all censorship? Will, Will you abide has, by the Egyptian constitution? Has a I, I, I ask you, wait, wait, please. I ask you right I'm now, since you're here, here every every person, person, Vodafone, Nokia, who collaborates with the Iranian dictators and apparently Mubarak for a year. So I'd like to know, will you all agree to stand against censorship on the internet and to abide by the Egyptian constitution. Will you do it? Is that a yes? Just a minute, please. I want to hear from TE data, which is the same as TE, which is the Egyptian people, that they will protect the rights of the Egyptian people. Not the law. Will you agree to stand against censorship? Uh, we'll come you... back, Jacob, we'll come back to you know, the panel. He's got the microphone, I'd yeah, just he, like to ask. come back to the, to the panel. It's okay, he can say yes, yeah, because he believes in we'll, the right we'll of the Egyptian back, people. We'll come back to the panel. I, we have a question there. Okay. Panel.